Hello, welcome to another episode of Book Smart. I'm Diana Belchase, your host, and I'm really happy to be here with somebody very special and someone I'm a big fan of who's not actually an author today, but it's Mayor Judd Ashman, who is the mayor of Gaithersburg. Judd, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Well, I'll tell you why I'm such a fan of yours, because you have been the brains and the inspiration behind the Gaithersburg Book Fair and uh, I want to know more about how it came to be. Well the book festival, uh, the idea came to me in late 2008. I've, I've always been a fan of author events and interested in the creative process um, and I was at the National Book Festival that year and we didn't know, we, you know, the National Book Festival had been started by Laura Bush and the mm -hmm. Library of Congress and the Bush administration was leaving so we didn't know if the the event would continue with whatever administration mm -hmm. would come in. I was there that day and, and, and realized, you know, I'd been in office, I'd been on the city council for a year at that point, and it would have been, I, I was thinking, it would have been tragic if the uh, National Book Festival was canceled, but why can't we do one of our own? And then it got me mm -hmm. thinking, it could re if we were to do a book festival in Gaithersburg, it could really sort of establish ourselves in the, in the cultural landscape and, and sort of plant a flag there and, and have, a, have a real identity and endeavor and so I brought the idea to my uh, fellow council members and, and to the mayor at the time and I, I got great support and um, you know the idea took off from there. Mm -hmm. Well that's wonderful and it seems to me that since you implemented this idea you're getting a lot of copycats because Kensington has a book festival and now there's fall for the book but I want everybody to know this man was first. <laughs> <laughs> I you know actually I don't can, um, Kensington may have started around the same time. Fall for the Book may have preceded the Gaithersburg Book Festival, but ours is, it, ours is a different event. It's, it's, it's bigger, it's outdoors, it's, uh, there's a lot more uh, density of programming. It's just it's mm -hmm. a different event. Um, we, really, we really have a, a, a unique thing going on in Gaithersburg. Actually, now since the National Book Festival moved indoors, it is the, it's the largest outdoor regional book festival in the area, in, in D.C., Maryland, Virginia. Mm -hmm. Well, what viewers may not know is that this is a, not just a festival which you might go to and see some books on tables. This is a massive event. I was surprised at how huge this event is. Every time I go, there are tents everywhere. There are nationally recognized authors who are there reading from their books, talking about their books, talking about the creative process, and there are people from every level. Tell me what, how you choose people to come to this festival, to, to appear. So each year we take a look at what books are coming out around the time of the festival because those are the authors who are going to be on tour mm -hmm. and we sort of create a wish list of authors uh, and, and we send out some invites. We also have an application process for authors who are interested in applying. Actually this one the, uh, that I'm holding in my hand, this fabulous uh, political cartoonist Kevin Califer, who we know as Cal from The Economist for 30 years and uh, as a syndicated cartoonist. Um, I had no idea he lived in the area. He actually applied to our festival this year, so we're really honored that, he, that he'd come. Um, but so what happens is each year we, we send out some invites, we get some mm -hmm. applications, and, and we see what kind of program we're going to have. It's, mm -hmm. it's really sort of an organic uh, process. We don't know what the program is going to look like until after the recruitment process. Mm -hmm. Well, for a suburban community like Gaithersburg, it's really amazing to me that people are coming, not just from the Washington, Virginia area, they're coming from New Jersey, they're coming from New York, and major authors like um, you have Jeffrey Deaver, you have Eric uh, Repair. Repair, you have yeah. Anthony Mara, um, you know, people from The Economist, and these are people that are applying, but I'm also really proud of you that you are taking care of the small author as well, that you're providing plenty of space for them to speak, to meet uh, their, their fan base, so that they're people who are independently published, they're people who are smaller authors, and that makes me really proud that everybody is included, that no one is excluded from this. Absolutely. Our, our goal is that you come to the festival because you, you take a look at the program and you say, oh, some of my favorite authors are going to be mm -hmm. there. I'm going to have a chance to, to see them and meet them. Uh, but also, we want you to, to discover some new up-and-comers while you're there. And we, mm -hmm. all of our authors are, are fabulous and have something interesting to add to the world um, and, and interesting to say. 
they're all worth seeing and getting to know. And so, so yeah, there are both elements to our festival. Well, it's important because there's such a tactile feel to books. It's just so much easier to pick up a book and to flip through it and to see if you like it rather than just ordering it online. And as you know, most of the bookstores have been closing. I was really surprised that not only did Borders close, but that was the entire chain. But now Barnes & Nobles in Washington, D.C. is gone. And for those of you who are not from this area, you don't know what a community of readers everybody in the D.C. area is. So if we can't support Barnes & Nobles, I don't know who can. Well, in, in this case, um, our, our bookseller partner is Politics and Prose uh, Bookstore, which is, it, which is in D.C., although the, the owners live in Maryland. Um, while the major retailers have been having troubles, it, it has been a good time the last couple of years for independent booksellers. And I think um, author events have a lot to do with it. Yes. It really is a community, and, and that's the feel that, w that we're going for with our festival. Well, Politics and Prose is a very special place, and they're near and dear to the hearts of every author because they really go out of their way to make sure everyone is showcased. Absolutely. So we really appreciate the fact that you're bringing this together. Before we go, tell me, what is the most difficult thing about putting this, this book festival together? Well, what's <laughs> we, w when I say the Gaithersburg Book Festival, people may think, okay, it's one event. But really, we have 115 authors coming. We have uh, probably a dozen writer workshops. We have probably 60 exhibitors. So essentially we have a few hundred events going on that day. Mm -hmm. The logistics is the most difficult part and we, it, it, we're very lucky to have fabulous staff at the City of Gaithersburg that help with, with that challenge. Any quick funny story that you can tell me? Something that went completely wrong or right that you didn't expect? We, you know, we've had instances, we had the, the uh, famous uh, biographer Kitty Kelly one year and she, she showed up to the book festival and we had her scheduled for a solo slot and she came in and she said, well, I need somebody to interview me on stage. And, and it was during the festival that this happened. And <laughs> so we had to scramble, but ultimately we found somebody and it worked out well. That's, you know, typical. <laughs> you better be careful, Jed, or she might be doing a tell-all gossipy book about you. We don't <laughs> want that. We don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. And thank you for all your wonderful work that you're doing with the festival. I don't know what we authors and here at Booksmart would do without people like you who take that initiative to bring readers to events like that. My pleasure. And more information at GaithersburgBookFestival.org. Thank you so much.